So this is a follow-up video to a previous video where I showed you how to install WordPress. In this video, we will be exploring the WordPress dashboard as well as exploring WordPress themes that will work best for the website that you're running. So there are a lot of different themes out there to choose from, and I know it can be quite difficult searching through all of the clutter and all of the themes out there. There are several free themes. There's all sorts of premium themes that can cost anywhere from $10 up to a couple of hundred dollars, depending on the website that you're trying to get set up and looking really attractive and professional. So in the previous video, we installed WordPress and I named the site WordPress. And after installing WordPress, we got this default WordPress theme. So this is September 2013 and this is the default theme that WordPress provides. So I mean it actually looks like a pretty decent theme uh, with the colors and everything, but we can of course do much better with all of the themes out there. But first let's get logged into our WordPress dashboard. So from previously installing WordPress we got our login information right here and WordPress also sent us an email with this information as well. And a good thing to note that when you want to log into your WordPress dashboard anytime, just go to your domain name, do a slash, then WP hyphen admin. This will get you to your dashboard area. So once you type that in, we get to an area where we can log into our WordPress dashboard. So let's grab the username. I don't need to copy my name, but our, pass our password is this long, lengthy password here, which I will copy and come log in. So here we are in our WordPress dashboard. This is where we can do a lot of really cool things. This is just the back end of our website. So this is where we come to add new content, write new content, manage our entire website. So we can add all of the pages to our website and everything entailed with our website. We are coming here to get set up. So the first thing that I always do when I log into my WordPress dashboard for the first time is I always like to change my password to something I can of course remember more. And to do that I go to users and then I come to my username here and I click edit. Then I scroll down and I type a new password in here. So we'll type something more memorable here. And I click update profile. The next thing that I generally always do is I install a WordPress theme. So depending on the theme that I'm trying to set up, I choose appropriately. So in my YouTube channel, I have set up websites for di various different verticals, whether it be a boat charter business or a restaurant or an e-commerce site or just a simple small business site. There are themes out there. One thing to look at before you choose a WordPress theme is whether or not this theme is responsive. So whether it's going to work on mobile devices such as iPhones, Blackberries, Androids, iPads. Uh, obviously you want it to work on desktop computers and Macs. So any kind of device that has a screen you want your website to show. But let's look at some WordPress themes. Let's go to appearance here in the left menu and let's click on themes. So this is an area of WordPress where we can actually search through and look for uh, themes here. So there's all sorts of free themes here in WordPress. Now, once you come to appearance themes, we'll click all themes. And here we can kind of sort through all of the themes. So here we have an option where we can actually look through. So we can click on the featured WordPress themes. In our dashboard, we can click on the newest WordPress themes available and the recently updated themes. So for instance, let's click on featured themes. 
and we can see a list of all of the themes that WordPress has marked as featured. So really the most popular themes out there at the moment. So here's a list and demo and kind of preview of some of the featured themes in WordPress. So you can come here and you can of course, you know, click on preview themes and kind of get a better understanding of what the themes look like. We can go back and we can click on newest as well. And we see some new themes available, actually looking, you know, pretty attractive themes. So basically, if you like a theme, you just come here and you, for instance, if you like this waterside hotel theme, so it looks to be a hotel related theme in WordPress. So if you like this, just come here, click install now on the theme and you click activate theme. And now we have this theme on our website. So let's go back and let's visit our live site. So we can see by just a few clicks that the look and feel of our website has changed dramatically. And this theme is going to allow us to basically make our own, add our own unique content too. So if we go back to appearance themes, we can also kind of play around in here as well. So say that we have just installed this theme and activated it on our website, but now we see another theme that we like more. It's very easy to install several themes on your website. So for instance, let's go back and like, uh, actually I would rather have this theme on my website. So I will activate this theme. And we will go back to our live site. And again, we will notice that our look, the look and feel of our website has changed to this WordPress theme. So the theme is just really the design of the website that you are creating. And if you're not still, if you're still not satisfied with the themes that WordPress makes available in your dashboard right here, it is very, very easy to just kind of do a Google search for WordPress themes. And you'll get all sorts of websites coming up here. So for instance, elegantthemes.com, um, WP Themes 360, ThemeForest. Uh, ThemeForest.net is a provider of WordPress themes that these guys make really great WordPress themes. So if you come to this site and you just kind of look around, you know, WordPress, say you are running a nonprofit or you have a retail site or you're trying to create a website for your wedding, you can click wedding and all of these themes are now available. Um, and of course, some WordPress themes, uh, they do charge uh, actually around $40 for, as you can see. I mean, you can also do a search for free WordPress themes and look for more themes that weren't available, weren't available in your dashboard. So I hope that you are getting an understanding now of the themes available and you understand that you can kind of as well play around with different themes. There is no limit. Um, for installing themes on your website. So you can install 20 different themes on your website and just kind of pick and choose until you feel comfortable with the theme that you finally select.